स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति हरिषडवर्गजे तारम नित्यानंद गुरुम बजे लेट्स सेंटर इन टू द नेक्स्ट सूत्र नेक्स्ट श्लोका इज द 59th श्लोका आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन लेटर ऑन Let me read the sutra. O oh, beloved, put attention neither on pleasure nor on pain, but between this, let you achieve the truth. This is the one more sutra. Does not need to be practiced at particular time. These are nitya sutras. Means this should mix inside you as a juice. These should be like understanding. it has to be internalized inside you it should become part of you and it should become eternal practice in you nitya sutras i can classify the shiva sutras into three category nitya sutras once you understand and internalize then that is enough every day it will start practicing itself nothing else is required the second dhyana sutras you need to understand and practice at a special particular time in your life third ananda sutras just very understanding you are liberated just very click you will feel that openness you are free this sutra is nitya sutra just you need to understand internalize then it will naturally become part of you your very being will start expressing itself this same understanding put attention neither on pleasure or on pain but between these continuously either you expect pain or pleasure in the next coming moment you constantly think what next and immediately if i do that what am i going to get whether it is going to bring pleasure or going to bring pain what is it going to bring what does it going to do how am i going to and let either you visualize pain or you visualize pleasure mahadeva says do not visualize pleasure or pain just be again one more technique to throw you back to the center throw you back to the present moment actually to tell you honestly all 112 technique can be expressed in one word be unclutched but we are not so intelligent to listen one word from one master once and then be unclutched so i have to add the same thing be unclutched be unclutchedly unclutched and unclutching is the ultimate unclutching the clutching is not the useful thing these are the 112 sutras that's all that is the truth nothing else i have to use so many words to remind you constantly that's all actually it is like a driving the teaching into your head exactly the same thing which i was speaking yesterday balancing between rajas and tamas that same thing mahadeva is expressing in a different way in a different expression do not put your attention on pain or pleasure see yesterday when what the technique which i was talking is if you can catch the glimpse of that how your body feels when you are having rajas if you catch the glimpse how you feel agitated during rajas 
then that technique is for you. If you are not able to catch, there are some people, even if you sit 10 times in roller coaster, they will not be able to catch. How the rajas is activated in your system. They will be so dull in the self-diagnosing methods. Even if they say they have stomach pain, it means they have a headache. <laughs> now, sometime, in Ayurvedic system, doctors will not believe what you say. They will directly diagnose. Just like how the animals are treated. <laughs> they will directly diagnose. Because you lost connection with the nature. You lost touch with the nature. You lost touch with your own body. So, if you are not able to find out the imbalance of rajas or tamas, here, at least you can find out based on your mental emotion. I think that will be a lot more easy. Finding out whether you are caught in the pain visualizations or pleasure visualizations. You are continuously expecting next going to be pain or pleasure. Usually we expect only pain. <laughs> we don't expect pleasure. Very rarely we may expect the pleasure. Mahadeva says, put your attention between this means in this moment. You need to understand one important thing. Actually when you are in this moment, you will have only experiencing there will not be any title attached to that experience as a pain or pleasure. You will be able to attach a title to that experience as pain or pleasure only when you compare with your past experiences. Means you already moved into past. If you are in this moment, you will have only one thing, a strong intense experiencing. Like the whole cosmos moving. Because your chairs are stable, you forget this whole earth is moving. There is an intense activity happening in this moment, in the planet, in the whole cosmos. If you relax into the present moment, you will see your life is nothing but experiencing. Only when you slip into the past, you will call that as an experience of pain or pleasure. Even you addressing something as pain or pleasure is nothing but slipping into the past. Come back and just sit. You will see so much of experiencing is happening in your system. Every breath going inside and becoming part of your blood and becoming energy, prana, life force for the parts of your body is a huge experiencing. It is happening. It is constantly happening. I tell you, just come down to that experiencing means the life permeating you life penetrating you life flowing through you you will see what you call as pain or pleasure is too small too small petty negligible you will suddenly see life is experiencing not just experience. Put attention neither on pleasure nor on pain but between these two let you catch the truth. If you stop your mind moving towards pain or pleasure it has to fall into bliss. No other way. There is no other space to go about. Suddenly you will see it falls into the peace and bliss. Nothing else needs to be done. Just for few moments decide not to let the mind go to pain 
or to the plus share just to the center just to the bliss the moment you stop these two moments automatically it will fall into bliss actually one reason why the shiva sutra has not become so popular like other scriptures because it gives too many wide variety of options and techniques the branding was very difficult usually if it is one particular thing and 10000 people are talking about it it will become very popular easy for selling branding but here mahadeva has not created this book for selling he has created he has expressed all the great truths he discovered through his research and development every experience he has verbalized it and spelled it out he just decided in future whoever wants to take up one line one sutra and create a tradition and philosophy let them do here i am expressing the whole encyclopedia this book is actually encyclopedia of enlightenment so many techniques from so many ways from so many method through so many path leading you to the ultimate experience but one important thing you have to do just listening just reading is not going to work you have to internalize it you have to digest it because reading the menu card is not going to fulfill your hunger only eating is going to give you the fulfillment let us enter into the technique itself please close your eyes sit in a very relaxed way neither expect next moments the future in your life is going to be pain nor expect it is going to be pleasure just be in this moment any thought which happens in your mind will only be expectation about pain or pleasure relax from both the thoughts and just be in between
whenever your mind slips into the thoughts which may create pleasure or pain bring it back be responsible to remind yourself get back to the between be in the relaxed center
Shanti 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 Relax. I am speaking on all these techniques so elaborately to bring them back to life and put it on record so that for future it is preserved and for seekers it is available to practice. Try any one technique which clicks you, which clicks with you, you will see the ultimate truth. Let you achieve and radiate the eternal bliss Nityananda. Thank you.